with a welcome of the athletes. And now, please welcome the athletes to the field of play for gold medal match. It's time to find out who is going to book their spot at the Hyundai Archery World Cup final. Let's meet the two finalists. On target number one, representing Netherlands, Laura van der Winkel. <laughs> On target number two, representing Great Britain, Brian e. Pittman. <laughs> and the line judge for this match is David Catalan. So there we have it. Our finalist presented out to the crowd here. The 20 year old, world number 107, having the best day of her life. Her first ever medal on a Hyundai Archery World Cup. It's Netherlands, Laura van der Winkel. And also having a very good day herself. Already got two medals. Definitely going to get a third. It's Britain's 25 year old, Bryony Pittman. They're contesting the first individual recurve gold medal of the new season. Van der Winkel of the Netherlands to get the gold medal match underway. What a start. What a start. Well, anything you can do, I can do better, says Bryony Pittman. Puts it right in the middle of the target. High quality start from the pair of them. Yeah, I think Bryony's found her form here. Nothing to lose. Didn't expect to get this far. Well, the pair of them having started so well, drop points with their second arrows. Nerves perhaps playing a part, although it does look like it's just starting to get a little gusty. A 28 puts the first set points out of reach for Pittman. Shooting super fast, the pair of them. At 24 at this level, just not enough for Pittman. Van der Winkel eases to the first two set points, but uh, great start from the pair of them. And then they drop points in the second. Have you seen any change there? Nothing blaringly obvious, like you say. There's a little bit of change of all conditions, perhaps, but uh, Laura Van der Winkel just looks so solid, doesn't she? Calm. Same shots every time. Pushing towards the target, great direction. Looks like a clicker there as well. Uh, Van der Winkel's got out to the early start here. She leads. 2-0 after the first set, so Bryony Pittman of Great Britain will get the second set underway. Lots of communication between coach and archer, really important. What's changing down the range? the technique. <laughs> Provident from Brian. Two in the X-ring. So she's got real power in her shots. That front arm going straight towards the target. Immediate opportunity here though for Pittman to get right back in the match and eight puts it out of reach but a brilliant perfect 30 cannot be matched now by van der winkel last arrow very strong one left one right one right in the middle so a good finish from her but we are all square at two apiece and this is flying by nikki flying by yeah it really does the set system you've got to be there you've got to you know, attack from the beginning because so quickly it can be over. It can be over as quick as three sets, but we know we're going to be going to at least four here. Get a 
great look at uh, Bradley Pittman and their reactions. Two apiece in this enthralling recurve women's gold medal match here in Antalya. First stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. Amanda Vinkel, Pittman, two apiece. <laughs> Just slowed down a little bit on that shot again, but kept it flowing and into the ten. Really fast. Straight in there, great feedback from the coach. What a run. Fifth, ten on the bounce. A little bit longer there from uh, Amanda Vinkel. She's lifting the bow up. She knew that was going low. And it's a big chance again. Eight to tie and share the points. Any more, and she'll be too clear. Oh, oh my goodness me. That's gone way out left. You could see it on uh, the face of the British archer that she was struggling with that one. What earth went on there? She just stopped, didn't she, at full draw. She just couldn't get that execution to happen. She needed to just keep everything moving and almost kind of force the shot away and landed in the five. She's trying to keep her spirits high, trying to remain jolly. Uh, you know, often, well, you coach at the, at the higher level, but you want to stay relaxed and stay focused. At the same time, two difficult opposing things. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's all about keeping the mindset that you want. Um, so that's gone now. You know, you can sit on it all you like, uh, but all that's going to do is bring ne negativity to what you're about to do. So you've got to draw the line underneath it. bradley has got a great attitude, just smiles away, and here she is again. Well, we're going into the fourth. Van der Winkel thought that she was going to go into it down, but opportunity not taken by Pittman. She gets the set mm. underway and she opens up with something very gettable here. An eight. Van der Winkel could do this in this set. That's a determination in her eyes, isn't it? A, a look to the target. Straight <laughs> Of the Dutch Archer. Still maintaining that one point lead in this set. Van der Winkel clears this set and wins it. She's taken the first title of the season. Pittman puts down a nine for a 27. So a nine for victory for Van der Winkel. And she's put it in the eight. Uh, this is incredible what we're seeing here. Both archers, set three and set four, had an opportunity to steal the points. Pressure seemingly got to both of them. They share the points in uh, this fourth set. So Van der Winkel stays two set points ahead, but uh, interesting for the pair of them. Really interesting, just the inability to close out, really. Do, do you want it? Do, no, no, do you want it? <laughs> so you've just got to get that third arrow. You know, it's so hard to keep your mind off what's going on around you and sort of thinking about what this could mean, but you've just got to blank all that out as much as you can. But this has really opened it up, so if Bryony can get back in here and win the next set, we'll force the tie, but just a, a tie of this set will be enough for Laura to take it. Not summed up perfectly. Well, it seems to be a bit of a curse shooting last in the set at the moment. That could work in favour of Bryony Pittman. She'll get the fifth set underway. Starts with a 10. Trailing by two points. Needs to win this one, clearly, the British archer. 
Nerves yeah. creeping in for Laura van der Winkel, though. She pushes it out to the right and into the eight. See a little bit shaking up, but now she's got to keep the shot timing going. Straight in that group in the X against Harry Holes in the target. Back in the middle for Van der Winkel, but this is in Pittman's hands. A nine will force a tiebreaker and a shoot off. Can she hold her nerve? Well, it's a nine. It's what she needed, a sigh of relief, because this has definitely gone to a tiebreaker. Van der Winkel just doing a bit of Bo Kwondo there with her last arrow. And I don't often say this, but it looks like she just wanted to get that arrow down and get straight to the tiebreaker. Well, she knew it didn't count, right? So it was all over. Um, so it's just a case of really getting rid of it in a way. But you can gain a bit of confidence out of that last shot. You know, you want to make a good shot. She's now got to reset herself, and we're going to go to this tiebreak. Right, okay, so <laughs> let's, let's uh, just get the housekeeping out of the way. They're going to put fresh target faces out at the, down the end of the range, 70 metres away from the shooting line. So we've got clean targets in case there's a measure. It's one arrow nearest to the middle. We'll score first. Whoever gets the highest score wins the gold medal. And if they both score the same, there'll be a measure of who's closest to the centre. Now, Nikki, we all know, I'm sure all our viewers know, that you love a shoot-off. Is that still the case when there's a British archer in a shoot-off for a gold medal? I think it's just the best part of the sport when you're sitting on the other side of the shooting line, you know, when you're on there yourself. It's so exciting, isn't it, just to see, you know, it's just down to the wire. This is who is going to get a place at the World Cup Finals this year. There's so much riding on one arrow, you know, you just kind of relax and try and shoot, but I mean... Well, what we've seen in the last couple of sets is that, the or last three sets, in fact, is that the archer shooting last has not been able to capitalise. The archer shooting last is usually the archer that's leading. They're all square here, but it was Van der Winkel who shot first in the first set, and she'll shoot first in the shoot-off. Does that mean that she's got the advantage? It could do, and most archers would choose to shoot first. Well, here we go. To settle... The gold medal, the first title of the season. We're down to a shoot-off in the recurve women's individual. Laura van der Winkel up first. Oh, now she's drifted that one out to the right. There is an opportunity for Pittman to get her first circuit title. Well, she's in the eight as well. She thinks that she's closest. They will measure this. They're hugging coach and athlete. I think she may well have got this, but they'll still measure it. They certainly will, yeah. Well, they're hugging down a concession there from Laura van der Winkel. The athletes have decided this one before the judges come back, and it's Bryony Pittman of Great Britain who's taken a circuit gold for the first ever time and booked her place at the Hyundai Archery World Cup Final at the end of the season.